Hi, everybody. Welcome to Humane Voices. Really excited to be here today. I'm Carrie, and I'm joined with by my amazing co-host, Kelly. Um, and we are bringing you a story that is just everywhere in the news right now. Just um, incredible stuff happening with 4,000 beagles uh, being removed from a breeding facility after inspection reports showed that they were really not getting the care that they needed. And so we are working with the Department of Justice to get those dogs out of the facility and our incredible sort of network of shelter and rescue partners around the country are really stepping up to do a lot of work. Some of them, some of them are picking up dogs sort of directly on site and some of them are coming to our care and rehabilitation center and I was so thrilled uh, to be able to go out last night and and sort of witness the arrival of some of these dogs. Um, it was it was just one of those things, you know. This is tough work that we do. Um, there's a lot of sad stories a lot of the time, but seeing sort of a whole bunch of puppies with their little toe beans coming off a coming off the rescue truck and a whole lot of very proud mamas um, who are you know nervous about stepping into sort of warm shavings and bedding because maybe they've never experienced that before and and sort of seeing how quickly they get used to it and become, you know, excited, happy dogs. It was really something to see. So I am, we've got a couple of minutes. Um, you'll be seeing some of the footage and hearing hearing some of the sound because as you guys know, beagles, uh, beagles are a very uh, sonic dog. Um, and you'll hear from Kitty, Kitty Block, our president and CEO, and also from Kirsten Peak, who is the manager of our media relations team. I got to tell you, Carrie, I watched the video since I was not there. I very much, I know our animal rescue team, obviously the volunteers that were there are working round the clock tirelessly. I know you were helping, but I did envy you all a little bit, even with the sweat and the, the, you know, all of the effort that you're doing. I thought, what a great day to be there to, you know, receive those animals. And there literally was a red carpet. I loved seeing that. They were welcomed with a red carpet, which I just thought was perfect. And Kitty holding, you know, that dog that was under eight weeks. I mean, it was just, yeah. it was amazing to watch that. So I, I, sure it was pretty amazing to be there in person and see those dogs. Yeah, it was just a reminder. I mean, you know, we've we've had so many incredible rescues and responses over the over the years, but it was so great to see the animal rescue team, you know, doing what they do best. I mean, just like it was like clockwork. Um just I mean, it was it was kind of funny because um, we were we were kind of expecting to be there for many, many hours. And, you know, they had these they had the dogs and the puppies kind of off the trucks and and into their happy new surroundings just so fast. I was just like, yeah, that's our team. This is so great to see. Team Blue. It's a well oiled team. <laughs> right, they, they've right, certainly exactly. done this before, but I mean, this is, isn't it, Carrie? I mean, it's, it is historic. 4,000. Mm -hmm. 4,000. Yeah. Beagles. Pretty incredible. Yeah. It's amazing. We're surrounded by beagles. Um, so we have, this is one of the 432 beagles that was removed from Invigo's facility in Cumberland, Virginia today. This is the first batch out of about 4,000 that will be removed. Um, so yeah, it's an exciting day. Our rescue team rolled in um, with the 201 that we're taking in here at our care and rehabilitation center. So what we are hearing right now is the dull roar of beagles in our care and rehabilitation center um, and lots of puppies barking and playing and finally out of their transport crates and kind of getting settled in and running around and playing and yeah. Soon these guys will be snuggling on a couch howling their little beagle howls, you know, just being playful and living their best puppy lives. And yeah, I mean, this was such a big twist of fate for all of these dogs because they were bred to be used um, in the animal experimentation industry. So it's a big, it's a totally different world for them. So the puppies are, settling in really quickly. You can see they're already talking to each other through through their little gates there in the kennels. They're digging. Oh yeah, over in there, these ones are playing with the sawdust. Um, 
they're wrestling with each other. So, yeah, they're just excited and ready to they're ready to get some toys and and yeah, get into homes and do all the fun puppy things. So today is the beginning of this epic uh, work that we've done to get out 4,000, 4,000 beagles, just like this little guy right here. Couldn't be sweeter. They were all destined to be research subjects, to be tested on in facilities across the country. And now these 4,000 animals have a chance at a real loving home and a real life. Um, these guys are just amazing and beautiful. And you wait for a moment like this, your whole life in this movement, because this doesn't happen often. They are going to go um, with our shelter partners, and uh, from there, they will find their babies adopted into loving homes. And so this is gonna take about 60 days. We're talking 4,000, 4,000 of these little guys. And um, it's just amazing, you know, how resilient they are, these little babies deserve a real life and now they have a shot at it for the first time. Hi, my sweetie. Never in my 30 years have I been part of, of a rescue like this and it is so amazing to, to see these animals, to hold these animals, to know that they are going to a great life. So this day, this moment, this is the store. This is unprecedented. There has never been 4,000, 4,000 little precious lives that have been spared going to animal testing facilities. And they're out now. This has not ever happened before. And boy, it couldn't have come at a better time, especially for this little guy. It's been incredible to be part of this rescue work. Um, as I said, we're grateful to the Department of Justice and all of our shelter and rescue partners. The DOJ reached out to us because this is what we do. We have a track record of doing what others think is impossible to do. We've been in the front lines in Ukraine helping people leave with their animals. We've been in floods and fires. We were in Kentucky during the tornadoes. Um, we go where we are needed and we have the expertise and capabilities and partners to do it. This is what we train for. This is the work that we do for these little lives. I couldn't be more grateful to everyone who's been part of this with us. And of course, to all of our supporters, and we can't do this work without you all. We can't do this work without them. So this little guy, his brother, his mom, all destined for a good life now. This <laughs> is I might be. Okay, maybe you're coming home with me. Yeah, so as we said, these beagles really are amazing and just cuteness, cuteness overload. I mean, that shines through when I was watching them on video. So I'm sure in person there, and you could tell Kitty and the rest of the gang were just in love with the dogs already. Um, this is gonna be an ongoing story. I mean, this is breaking news, it's happening. Uh, the rescue is underway, but we're gonna be keeping our donors, our volunteers, our supporters up to date, of course. This is the not, not the last that you will hear about it. You wanna follow the story, if you wanna help support the transport, kind of the placement, um, this whole operation of 4,000 plus beagles, visit us at humanesociety.org slash 4,000 beagles. Thanks for listening, and we will see you next time on Humane Voices.